Welcome to another episode of Rithu the Explorer Travel Vlog. In this episode, we're diving deep into one of the most famous streets in the world, the Royal Mile, the heart of Edinburgh, Scotland. This historic street stretches through the old town, connecting Edinburgh Castle to the Palace of Holyrood House. Join us as we explore the rich history, culture, and hidden gems of this iconic mile. Once you are in Waverley Station, Edinburgh, and if you enjoy walking, take this quick and scenic shortcut to the Royal Mile via Flesh Market Close. From the main concourse of Waverley Station, take the Market Street exit. Once on Market Street, turn right and walk a short distance. Look for the sign for Flesh Market Close on your left. It's a narrow, steep alleyway leading uphill. Walk up Flesh Market Close, which will take you directly to Cockburn Street. At the top of Flesh Market Close, turn left onto Cockburn Street and follow it until you reach the Royal Mile. Alternatively, you can take a taxi from any exit to reach the Royal Mile if you prefer not to walk. The Royal Mile is truly the heart and soul of Edinburgh. This historic street runs for about one Scots mile, connecting two major landmarks, the monumental Edinburgh Castle at one end and the majestic palace of Holyrood House at the other. Dating back to medieval times, the Royal Mile offers a unique journey through the ages. The street's layout follows the natural geography of a volcanic formation, providing not only scenic views, but also a tangible link between Edinburgh's geological past and its development as a historic capital. The mile is divided into several distinctive sections, including Castle Hill, Lawn Market, High Street, Cannon Gate, and Abbey Strand, each with its own story and charm. Walking through these sections is like navigating a living museum, with nooks and crannies that echo centuries of history. Throughout its length, the Royal Mile is lined with cobblestones and flanked by striking examples of classical and Gothic architecture. The Royal Mile in Edinburgh is famous for its closes, which are narrow alleyways or courtyards branching off the main street. These medieval passages, often steep and winding, were once bustling with residents and businesses, offering a glimpse into the city's historical and architectural past. Each close has its own unique character and history, often named after notable residents or trades that once occupied the area, such as Advocates Close, Old Fish Market Close, Flesh Market Close, Mary King's Close, Bakehouse Close. Exploring these closes reveals hidden gems like historic buildings, quaint courtyards, and fascinating stories from Edinburgh's past. They provide a stark contrast to the wider, more modern streets preserving the city's charm and authenticity. Beyond its historical significance, the Royal Mile is a vibrant hub of activities. As you stroll down this storied street, you'll encounter street performers, artists, and an array of shops, 
and pubs offering local delicacies and Scottish souvenirs. Our journey begins here, dominating the skyline of Edinburgh. Edinburgh Castle is a historic fortress that has played a pivotal role since the 12th century in Scottish history. Visitors can explore the crown jewels, the Great Hall, and the National War Museum of Scotland. The Stone of Destiny, or Stone of Scone, is an ancient symbol of Scottish royalty used for centuries in coronations. It was housed in Edinburgh Castle and is now displayed in the Perth Museum, Scotland. The stone remains a powerful symbol of Scottish heritage and is used in British coronation ceremonies. The Stone of Destiny vividly brings to life the true story of a daring 1950 heist by Scottish nationalists who sought to reclaim the Stone of Destiny from Westminster Abbey and return it to Scotland. This captivating film is a must-watch. The castle offers breathtaking views of the city and beyond. A must visit for whiskey enthusiasts. The Scotch Whiskey Experience, located on the Royal Mile in Edinburgh, offers guided tours that explain the whiskey making process. Since 1988, it has provided an immersive journey into Scotch whiskey, featuring interactive exhibits and a barrel ride through a virtual distillery. Visitors can explore the world's largest collection of Scotch whiskey, with over 3,500 bottles on display and enjoy expert-led tastings of single malts, blended whiskeys, and more. Camera Obscura, and World of Illusions. This family-friendly attraction offers interactive exhibits and optical illusions. The highlight is the rooftop viewing chamber where a camera obscura projects live moving images of the city onto a viewing table. Just down the road, we find the hub, originally built as a church in the 19th century. Today, it serves as a vibrant venue for the Edinburgh International Festival and other events.
The Writers' Museum, celebrating the lives and works of three of Scotland's most famous writers, Robert Burns, Sir Walter Scott, and Robert Louis Stevenson. The Writers' Museum houses an extensive collection of manuscripts, personal items, and memorabilia. Discover the hidden world beneath the Royal Mile at the Real Mary King's Close, an underground city perfectly preserved since the 17th century. This historic attraction, once a bustling street named after Merchant Mary King, was buried during the construction of the Royal Exchange in the 18th century. Rediscovered in the early 2000s, it now offers guided tours that explore its rich history and the lives of its former residents. Wander through narrow alleyways and rooms, uncovering tales of plague, intrigue, and everyday life for a fascinating glimpse into Edinburgh's shadowy past. Just a short walk from the Royal Mile is Victoria Street, one of Edinburgh's most picturesque and vibrant streets. Known for its colorful facades and unique shops, Victoria Street is a must-visit for anyone exploring the city. Victoria Street is a shopper's paradise with a range of independent boutiques, bookshops, and specialty stores. Whether you're looking for unique souvenirs, vintage clothing, or artisanal goods, this street has something for everyone. Harry Potter fans will feel right at home on Victoria Street, which is said to have inspired Diagon Alley. There are several themed shops here where you can pick up all sorts of magical merchandise. Victoria Street in Edinburgh is renowned for its vibrant, curving architecture and colorful shop fronts, which are said to have inspired Diagon Alley in the Harry Potter series. This picturesque street, with its eclectic mix of boutiques, cafes, and bookstores, captures the magical essence that fans of J.K. Rowling's books adore. Rowling herself wrote parts of the series in nearby cafes, and Victoria Street's enchanting atmosphere makes it a must-visit for Potter enthusiasts looking to experience a touch of the wizarding world in the heart of Edinburgh. At the bottom of Victoria Street, you'll find the Grass Market, a historic marketplace that offers stunning views of Edinburgh Castle. This area is filled with pubs, cafes, and is a great spot to relax and soak in the atmosphere. Harry Potter fans will feel right at home on Victoria Street, which is said to have inspired Diagon Alley. There are several themed shops here where you can pick up all sorts of magical merchandise. Our driver suggested a few places while on the way from our hotel to the Royal Mile, and Howie's restaurant on Victoria Street in Edinburgh stood out as a top recommendation. Known for its welcoming atmosphere and dedication to showcasing Scottish cuisine, Howie's offers a delightful blend of traditional dishes with a modern twist. During our visit, we enjoyed a selection of locally brewed beers, which perfectly complemented our meal. We started with Cullen Skink, a thick and flavorful Scottish soup made with smoked haddock, potatoes, and onions. It was incredibly delicious and warming. The soup of the day was also a highlight, offering a fresh and tasty beginning to our dining experience. The most anticipated dish was the traditional Scottish haggis, which did not disappoint. 
It was rich and savory, embodying the essence of Scottish culinary tradition. We also tried the wild East Lothian pigeon breast with black pudding, which was expertly prepared and full of unique flavors. For dessert, we indulged in the sticky toffee pudding, a classic choice that was perfectly sweet and satisfying. To top it all off, we were treated to complimentary Scottish shortbreads, adding a lovely touch to our meal. Overall, Howie's Restaurant provided a memorable dining experience, blending the best of Scotland's culinary heritage with modern flair. It's a must-visit spot for anyone exploring the vibrant and historic surroundings of Victoria Street near Royal Mile, Edinburgh. Back on the Royal Mile for further exploration, we were determined to buy authentic Scottish tablet, but most places only offered fudge. After a long search, Google led us to the House of Scotland souvenir shop, a treasure trove of Scottish delights. This gem satisfied our craving and enhanced our Royal Mile experience, leaving us with a sweet taste of Scotland to take home. Curious about Scotland's culinary delights? Tune into our next video to explore must-eat foods in Scotland. From savory haggis and buttery shortbread to cullen skink and Scottish tablet, discover the essential dishes that define Scottish cuisine. Explore Edinburgh's top attractions with the Edinburgh Tour Bus, offering a comprehensive overview of the city's historic and cultural highlights. For a thrilling experience, try the Ghost Bus Tours, featuring eerie tales and visits to the city's most haunted sites. Both tours provide unique and memorable ways to experience Edinburgh. As we continue down the Royal Mile, we find the Heart of Midlothian. The Heart of Midlothian is a historic mosaic heart embedded in the cobblestone pavement on Edinburgh's Royal Mile, outside St. Giles' Cathedral. This heart marks the site of the Old Tollbooth, a former administrative center and prison that played a significant role in the city's history. Traditionally, locals spit on the heart for good luck or as a gesture of disdain for the former prison. The Heart of Midlothian is also famously referenced in Sir Walter Scott's novel of the same name, which delves into the social and political life of 18th century Edinburgh. Next, we arrive at St. Giles Cathedral, also known as the High Kirk of Edinburgh. Founded in the 12th century, this church is the mother church of Presbyterianism. This magnificent church, with its towering Gothic spire, has been at the heart of Edinburgh for over 900 years. It's not just an architectural marvel, but a vital piece of Scottish history. The cathedral's crown steeple is a distinct feature visible from many parts of the city. Inside, the Thistle Chapel is a highlight, showcasing intricate wood carvings and stained glass windows dedicated to the Order of the Thistle, Scotland's highest order of chivalry.
Visitors can also explore memorials, monuments, and the grand organ, each contributing to the cathedral's historical and spiritual ambiance. St. Giles' interior offers a captivating glimpse into Scotland's religious and cultural heritage. The Thistle Chapel, located within St. Giles' Cathedral in Edinburgh, is a masterpiece of Gothic Revival architecture. Dedicated in 1911, it serves as the home of the Order of the Thistle, Scotland's highest order of chivalry. The chapel is renowned for its exquisite craftsmanship, featuring intricate wood carvings, elaborate stonework, and vibrant heraldic symbols. Each stall is adorned with the crest of its knight, creating a rich tapestry of Scotland's noble history. The stunning ceiling, decorated with gold leaf and painted with the symbols of the thistle, adds to the chapel's majestic atmosphere. A visit to the Thistle Chapel offers a unique insight into Scotland's chivalric traditions and architectural heritage. Another place our driver recommended was the Arcade Bar, Haggis, and Whiskey House. Intrigued by its reputation and eager to indulge in Haggis once more before leaving Edinburgh, we decided to visit. We started our meal with a locally brewed beer, which provided a refreshing and authentic taste of Scottish craft brewing. Given our fondness for Haggis, we ordered Robert Burns' famous Haggis, served with a delectable whiskey sauce. The haggis was superb, perfectly spiced and enhanced by the rich, smooth sauce. It truly captured the essence of Scotland's culinary heritage. We also opted for the haggis stuffed chicken, a delightful dish that featured tender chicken breast filled with savory haggis. The combination was both hearty and flavorful, showcasing the versatility of haggis in different preparations. The portions were generous, and we found ourselves completely satisfied by the end of the meal. Museum of Edinburgh. Located in the historic Huntley House, the Museum of Edinburgh tells the story of the city's past through a range of artifacts, including decorative arts, historical photographs, and archaeological finds. As we reach the end of the Royal Mile, we encounter the contrasting architectures of the modern Scottish Parliament. The Scottish Parliament, located at the foot of the Royal Mile in Edinburgh, is the devolved National Legislature of Scotland. Opened in 2004, the building, designed by Spanish architect Enric Morales, features modern architecture that contrasts with historic Holyrood. It serves as the center of political life in Scotland, where MSPs debate and decide on devolved issues like education, health, and transportation. Visitors can take guided tours to explore the building's unique design and the legislative process, with the debating chamber being a highlight. The Parliament symbolizes Scotland's national identity and self-governance. 
And at the end of the Royal Mile stands the historic Palace of Holyrood House. The Palace of Holyrood House, located at the end of Edinburgh's Royal Mile, is the official residence of the British monarch in Scotland. Steeped in history, this Baroque-style palace has been a royal residence since the 16th century and was home to notable figures such as Mary, Queen of Scots. Visitors can explore the state apartments, renowned for their exquisite furnishings, tapestries, and paintings. Highlights include the Great Gallery, the largest room in the palace, and the historic chambers of Mary, Queen of Scots. The palace grounds also feature the ruins of Holyrood Abbey and beautifully landscaped gardens. The Palace of Holyrood House remains a working royal palace, hosting official events and ceremonies. Its rich history and continued royal significance make it a must-visit destination for those interested in Scotland's royal heritage. And there you have it, a journey through the Royal Mile from the ancient fortress of Edinburgh Castle to the majestic palace of Holyrood House. This street is truly a living museum, offering a glimpse into Scotland's rich history and vibrant culture. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more travel adventures. See you next time.